What's going on, everybody? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber. And I'm back with another toy review. Yippee! And this one is of... Uh, God of War. Kratos. Um, and this is from the PlayStation 2. Heads and accessories are interchangeable. Are they? Does he have a head? Another head in there somewhere? I only see one head. Hmm, hmm, hmm. And he is looking pretty, pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Try to, I'm trying to zoom in here. Golden Fleece armor with Medusa head. I'm loving that Medusa head. I'm loving those blades. I can't really see him, but I'm loving those blades that he has. They look really, really, really cool. Kratos, one of my favorite uh, PlayStation games of all time. Um, if you've never played it, I definitely recommend you playing it because it's just an awesome, amazing video game. Uh, very, The story is very well done. Graphics are very well done. Action is very well done. And... Uh, it's one of the few, uh, actually, it's the first video game that I, I think I've played where uh, you're actually um, having sex with, uh, virtually having sex with uh, virtual, how can I put this, virtual bitches, <laughs> virtual, virtual prostitutes. If you guys uh, play God of War, then you know what I'm talking about. So, uh, yeah, that was uh, really cool. Even though you're not seeing it, uh, well, the version that I played, God of War that I played, uh, you don't really see it, but uh, um, but you can hear, uh, you know, the women moaning in the background as Kratos is uh, laying his sword, um, clanking his sword, Um and, and also, I think it's the first video game where I actually seen uh, naked women in the video game itself, the boobies, uh, uh, fighting a, a, a bare-breasted uh, demon woman, um, which was pretty cool. So that's the first video game that I ever played that involved a naked woman. Okay. <laughs> There you go. I don't know if that was too much information, but uh, you guys know what I'm talking about. If you guys play the God of War, then you know what I'm talking about. Um, uh, but enough of my gibberish. Uh, I'm anxious to get this guy open and see what he's all about. Uh, he looks really, 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 really cool. And it's NECA. I didn't know it was done by NECA either. So if you know it's done by NECA, you know it's going to be pretty cool. So let me put my camera right here and I got my trusty pair of scissors right there and I'm gonna cut this baby open and we are gonna have fun tonight there you go and there you go Ugh. Yeah. 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 all right and there you go, God of War. Now, this might be an import. Um, I'm guessing it is just by the way the graphics look, but then again, I don't know for sure. But, um, if it's a knockoff, so what? You know, it's not the first knockoff review that I've done. Um, if you've watched my Alien review, uh, that's another knockoff video I, I did, and the Alien turned out pretty well, other than his leg. Uh, broke off on me, but then again, it was easy to put back on, so, and like I said before, I said this many times before, all toys are pretty much imports, so yeah, there we go, there is Kratos looking pretty amazing, pretty, pretty amazing, I don't know where to start, swords, figure, head, you know what, let's take out these swords, because I really love the detailing of these swords, of course, they're taped. They're taped in there, as they always are. Let's take that one out. And let's pop this one out. Wish it was an easier way I can 
take this out. You know what? I'm trying to take this out like a dumbass, and I got scissors right here where I can just boom, 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 and cut that baby open. And there you go. Look at these beautiful swords. Those are pretty amazing looking, very detailed. Regardless if this is a knockoff or not, they're pretty, pretty detailed. And they are uh, just as beautiful on camera as they are in person, I'm sure of it. A little paint chipping here and there, but well, what are you going to do? I can always paint it, paint over it. Those are really, really cool swords. Really, really cool swords. And they're nice. They're hollow, but they're very like sturdy, um, strong kind of plastic. Not the cheaply made plastic, but the very sturdy plastic. Let's take out the Medusa head. I got my scissors, so I might as well cut that open. Okay, so here is the Medusa's head. And oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Very cool. I love the detached guts hanging from her. I don't know if you, how well you guys can see that hanging from her head. The head is really awesome. Really, really awesome. And she has kind of like bendy little cobras from Medusa little baby cobras oh and the detail on that is just amazing let me try to bring this in so you guys can see it i don't know how well you guys can see the cobras on there very 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 well done and there that's her ear i thought that was a piece of her skin but those are her ears beautifully done regardless if this is an import or not that is beautiful all right, so I am uh, pleased with the swords and with the head. So let's get to the main man himself. And of course, it has its twisty tie on it. Why not? It always has twisty ties. Okay, so let's pop this guy out. And he comes with... Oh, a stand. Okay, he comes with a stand. That's pretty awesome. And he is very, very heavy. You want to think he'd be heavy, but yeah, he is very heavy. And he is very, very detailed. Wow. Hopefully this doesn't break on me like my last import, but uh, you never know. If not, that's why they make glue. Plastic is meant to be... Um, plastic is not meant to last, so keep that in mind, kitties. Um, He is... Just beautifully sculpted. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen uh, an action figure so beautifully sculpted. You know, next to Spawn. Some of the Spawn characters. But this guy is absolutely beautiful. Wow. He is amazing. Let me bring my camera in and show you guys some details here. Because he is just amazing looking. Wow. I have never been so impressed by an action figure. I mean, he is a sculpture. He's a, a, a work of art. This is beautiful. Uh, you know, I, I might... I might go too far by saying this, but he is definitely one of the most beautiful action figures I have ever held in my hands. Yeah. Yeah. Most definitely. And his head does turn. That's cool. His waist, he does have a waist uh, swivel on it. Beautiful, beautiful. His nipple right there is a little dark. I don't know why it's so black right here over the red. But nonetheless, who cares about nipples? Well, his nipple right there is gray. Nipple right there is black. But I don't care. Nipples are nipples, you know? And just a... Man, just the detail. Look at this. Look at his, look at his armor. He's got blood on his armor. And the chain wrapped around his, uh, I guess, his shin, his shin armor. The blood stains on it. I wish he would have more blood stains on it. More blood stains on him. He's got some blood on his chain right there. If you don't know, if you guys can see that. But he is a total masterpiece. 
wow. And the skirting right here, it's like a, a real leather, leather, plastic, rubber. I guess rubber, rubber would go, yeah, feels like rubber. But just amazing. I am really satisfied with this character. I'm like having a action figure orgasm over here. Wow. And he does have bicep swivel. I guess that's what you would call it, bicep swivel. Let's get some weapons in this guy's hand. Um, This right here has a port. I don't know. So how does he hold Medusa's head? Is it... Nice. Let's see. I don't know how he holds her head. I guess would it be like that or like that or... I don't know how he holds her head. Let's put the weapons in his hand because I really want to put his weapons in his hand. I want to see how he looks with these fiery blades because they look amazing and I'm sure they'll look even more amazing uh, when Kratos is holding these babies if I can get him in his hand. And his hands are very bendable too so they're not like plastic. His hands are kind of like rubbery so you can put his weapons in his hands very easily and I'm, oh my god look at that that is beautiful wow I've never been so impressed with an action figure as I am now wow this guy is a work of art ladies and gentlemen I am thoroughly 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 impressed this guy is absolutely beautiful Medusa's head I don't know how he holds the Medusa head but this right here um, I don't know I'm looking at this Medusa head I don't know how he holds it but you know what I, he doesn't even need to hold the head I mean as long as he's got his swords oh shit that's all he needs he's got swivel right here he's got a break at his leg right here it can turn. He's got uh, ankle pivot. Ankle pivot. And this guy is absolutely amazing. This guy right here, ladies and gentlemen, is a work of art. And he's got a stand. I'm going to try to stand him on a stand. Let's see how well he stands on a stand. He doesn't even need to stand. He's not going to stand on a stand anyways because I'm not really on a flat surface. But let's try to stand him anyways. Uh, I'm not even going to try to stand him because he's not on a flat surface. But ladies and gentlemen, this guy right here. Let's take the stand off. This guy right here, Kratos. He is, on a scale from 1 to 10, he is a perfect 10. If I can go higher than a 10, I would. He is just absolutely amazing. Breathtaking. Look at the detail in that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And I just love the blood right there. I wish it would be more blood on there. The face is just absolutely beautiful. The sculpture, body sculpture, bicep, chest, paint, apps, everything about this character, the sculpture, did I say sculpture? Everything about this character is just absolutely beautiful and amazing. Yeah, this character pretty much pretty much blows everything away. Let's bring my, uh, if I have time, uh, this was my last review that I did of the 9-inch Alien. This is NECA as well. This is an import right here. I'm not for sure he, if he's an import. If he's an import, he's a very well done import. But here's the 9-inch alien. And here is uh, God of War. He he's probably stands probably about 12 inches. Or not 12 inches, maybe 7 inches or 8 inches tall. But it shows you how big he is because here's the 9-inch nine, nine alien. But anyways, uh, if you guys didn't see my review of the alien import, please check that out because it's a really cool uh, review. But this is my review of uh, Kratos God of War. You can follow me on Instagram, Flipagram. 
uh, Facebook, and please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye.